I'm Captain Quigney, 38F, for support officer. I am part of the A1 community, which is composed of manpower, personnel, and services. The A1 community is part of combat support, which also includes A4 logistics, A6 communications, and A7 installations and mission support. As a member of combat support community, we do not fight per se, but we enable those who do. First, let me give you an overarching brief of what the 38F is designed to bring to the table. According to my career field education and training plan, force support shapes the manner in which airmen are postured, employed, sustained, and recovered in order to support the Air Force's mission. It defines requirements, acquires, and develops specific skills, postures, them into an organizational and individual utilization strategy, sustains them for combat operations, and finally transitions them back to home operations. Force support provides unique capabilities for combat support. Force support is by design, not self-sustaining. It depends upon other combat support capabilities for security, health, and infrastructure support. Force support is an integral part of the structure employed to open, establish, and operate air bases worldwide, and then redeploy forces to their home stations. It is, we are an enabler by delivering agile, responsive, and efficient approaches to deliver combat airmen to any theater or environment. I would also add that we directly support dependents as well. Of course, everyone is already familiar with what force support looks like. We are the military personnel flight, we are the dining facility, we are the fitness center, we are the library, we are Airmen and Family Readiness Center, and any and all recreational activity such as outdoor rec or bowling. At some point during your day, I bet that you have probably utilized the force support um, squadron. As I stated before, force support provides unique capabilities for combat support. There are a total of 17 force support capabilities. Two capabilities are on the strategic level. The remaining 15 capabilities produce operational and tactical effects. The biggest capability is shaping and balancing the force. Properly executing this capability keeps the human capital requirement at the appropriate strength to accomplish the Air Force's current and future mission. It includes recruiting, retraining, reorganizing, and force shaping sizing activities to place the right amount of combat airmen where they are needed. The second biggest capability is force development. This focuses on developing airmen to thoroughly understand the Air Force mission, organization, and doctrine. It consists of three principal areas, training, education, and experience. What we are doing right now, SOS, would be an example of force development. The remaining 15 capabilities dig deeper into the weeds. I will touch on a couple of them as I tell you personal stories of what I have accomplished as a 38F. My favorite capability is building a sense of community. This is accomplished by unique needs of military members and associated family members. While I was stationed at Misawa, I was the, I coached and maintained the base varsity women's uh, softball team. To me, this was important because it supported female airmen and dependents and gave us something to look forward to. It fulfilled a physical activity need as well as a social need. Uh, and, and we were able to make friendships through sport. Another neat capability is hosting official functions. This includes planning, scheduling, coordinating, and conducting distinguished visitor events with airmen and visits with base senior leaders. While in Misawa, we hosted the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Chief Wright. It was cool to get to work with him and show him around base. I also got to witness President Barack Obama speak on the White House lawn when the Italian Prime Minister was visiting. Although I did not directly contribute to that particular event, that is something that falls within my role as a 38F. So to conclude, that is, in a nutshell, what uh, force support does and how we provide combat support. 
which in turn provides unrivaled air power to meet strategic demands of the Air Force.